Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, just another quick update video from this crazy bastard who hasn't been putting out much stuff lately. Um, and I do apologise for that. Uh, what's happening at the moment is, uh, this is just going to let you know uh, my plans of the summer. Because um, as I teach at schools and, um, and all that stuff, uh, I actually have um, a few weeks off for the summer. So uh, I've been spending uh, a week or two just hanging out with the people that uh, I miss and love, and now is uh, now I'm ready to just kick my ass and get back into doing some productive stuff and getting some music down and um, keeping the ball going, rolling, whatever balls do. Don't answer that question of anything else. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, so I realised the other day that I haven't actually done any promotional stuff for uh, Corrupt Volume Two. Um, I did loads of stuff for Volume 1 where like, I did uh, a lyrics video for Mutagen and I also filmed the actual music video right here in the garage with like, all the fancy red walls and black carpets and, uh, and the shiny bright lights and things. And uh, I thought when I put out uh, Corrupt Volume 2, I, I thought that maybe I could do all the same stuff again. Like, maybe I could do another music video or maybe the walls green or something like that. or. Um, uh, do a better lyrics video. But I thought, nah, I thought I'll do something different this time. Do something different, something uh, I hadn't done yet. And that's when I came up with the idea to try and do a live session. So what I'm going to do is uh, is I'm going to uh, arrange something in a couple of weeks with a local music company, a local uh, recording studio rather, and, um, and uh, take my guitar and my microphone up there and perform Kamadanek, which is the second track off the new EP, uh, live with the rest of the music, um, with the rest of the music from the EP behind me. Uh, it is all going to be live. It is all going to be professionally filmed, um, and once it's ready, uh, I'll stick it up on the YouTube channel to promote uh, Volume Two for those of you who haven't actually heard it yet. Um, if you like it, and if you like. Uh, the, the, if you liked Volume 1 but hadn't heard Volume 2, then Volume 2 is on Spotify as well as Volume 1, so just a quick shameless plug right there. I know, I'm a fucking sly bastard. Anyway, um, with the covers front, I haven't really done much, have I? I um, I've done uh, the acoustic and the metal version of Deadhead, and I've been working on those for a couple of months now. Uh, I think... Um, from an emotional standpoint, uh, I did uh, I, I, I did sympathise a lot with the lyrics and things like that. So um, I wanted to um, really, really like hone in on the dynamics of that song and do two different versions. And I love them both. They both turned out exactly as I wanted them to. Um, but uh, after that, now I've got a couple of ideas. I've got a couple of experimental ones which I which I'm psyched to work on. But first. Before the covers come back in, I'm going to put out some new original material. And it's going to be a completely different direction to Corrupt. Like, um, Corrupt was like really, uh, this really crazy and this really intense sort of, uh, not intense, it sounds arrogant, but like this really mad sort of, um, uh, this sort of psychopathic sort of tone to it. And, um, and it was really progressive. And it, was a, it took a lot of time to put together, and as proud as I am of the two EPs, um, like they're now mine forever. They're, they're, this is a, it's a backlog of um, the last three years of my original material. But now it is time to work on something new. Um, I've taken a bit of a uh, change in uh, musical direction, and that doesn't mean that uh, I want to stop doing metal, uh, but it's going to be a lot different, it's going to be a lot more, um, how do I describe it, a lot more sort of energetic, I want to capture like the feeling of just like the, oh yeah, get, this gets me pumping kind of thing, rather than uh, makes you want to like sit down and contemplate life, <laughs> oh, I'm done with that shit, oh it's so hot in here, oh. anyway, um, the the format that this is going to take is it's not going to be like an EP or an album just yet. 
the thing that's going to happen first is I'm going to try and work on the sound and see what works and see what doesn't. Um, Corrupt took a lot of time to figure out the sound and uh, and like sort of perfect it in my eyes. So with this one, because it's a change in sound and it's something that I haven't really worked on that much, um, I'm going to put out uh, two singles. Um, there, I'm going to work on both of them at the same time, release one of them first, release uh, the second one afterwards. Um, one of them is quite sort of heavy, but not corrupt heavy, not like progressive heavy. Uh, and the second one is kind of like... Uh, I can't really describe it. <laughs> like, I'll let you listen to, to it for, uh, for yourselves, but I guess you could say it's a more sort of commercial um, uh, point of view. Um, but I want to change my voice, I don't want to scream so much, I don't want to use hugely distorted guitars, um, not these, like, not mental, like, blast beats and double kick drumming and stuff like that, I want to avoid all that. And it's something that I haven't really done, uh, it's something I haven't decided to do, uh, um, consciously, it's just how, like, I, it's just the sort of music that I want to put out right now. And, uh, it will sound different, don't expect corrupt stuff, because it will not sound like that. Um, but I hope you like it, so basically the plans are, the three things I want to do is the live session for Kamadanek just to, um, just to give you, um, an idea of what that song sounds like and maybe like an idea of how it would sound in a live studio situation, um, I guess. And, uh, after that, um, I'm going to be putting out a couple of singles over the summer, maybe going into September, October sort of time. Uh, if it all goes well, um, then I'll try and record an album maybe next year of the same sort of stuff. If not, I'll... not. <laughs> uh, so, um, uh, there's a couple, uh, like, one thing that I want to do for it is just, like, I'm just waffling on now, but one thing that I want to do for it is, uh, I want to find a huge, big, fuck-off sounding live room and just record massive sounding drums in it, because I've never really had that amenity. Like, I've had to record all my drums here, and if I wanted big sounds, I just had to use, like, VSTs and plugins and sound effects and all that business. But what I really want to do is I want to find a massive hall that's not that expensive and just see what comes out of it. Um, and, uh, yeah, if that's the case, if I do manage to find a place that I want to record, then uh, expect some sort of video blog for that as well, because I want to document the whole process. Anyway, enough chit-chat. I am going to get on the ball. Um, so I'll see you uh, with another video, maybe in a couple of weeks' time. I want to put out the live, um, the live session first, and then maybe uh, document some process on these, um, on these two new tracks I want to put out. If I come up with any more information, like names and stuff like that, they'll all be on the Facebook page. Um, and uh, I'll advertise the Facebook page uh, just below in the description if you want to keep up with some regular updates. I will try and update more regularly. So, uh, back on the ball. Summer is on. Enjoy the sun. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.